consistent brush accents. I was having kind of a specific problem this morning, so we're gonna have kind of a specific lesson today. Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is day 172, and our topic is consistent brush accents. If you'd like to practice along with me, I'll be working some exercises out of a DVD called The Brush Secret, specifically the half circular motion exercises, and I'm at 56 beats per minute today. I'm sticking with the uh, 16th note pattern, which looks a little something like this. And I was noticing today that I'm sort of making a combination out of the two different types of accents. If you remember from previous videos, this uh, DVD has a couple different types of accents. The first is the acceleration accent, which you get by moving the brush over the head more quickly. Kind of like that. And the second is what they call the pressure accent, which you get by pushing the brush down into the drum head like this. Now they're both pretty cool and useful for different things, but I was noticing in this 16th note half circular motion pattern that I was having a tendency to sometimes play the pressure accents when I wanted to be playing the acceleration accents. Like I said, very specific problem. But especially as the tempo speeds up, I'm noticing that these accents are getting pretty sloppy and especially in my left hand because that's my weak hand and it's just less good than my right hand. So I'm gonna play this pattern a little slowly to show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm at 56 beats per minute in my ear, but I'm gonna play this sort of half time so you can see what's up. Now that's not bad, that's kind of what I'm going for. But what I noticed this morning was that my left hand was sometimes doing this. Which is kind of cool if you mean to do it, but I've been doing it on accident and that's not great, I want the control. So I've been working really hard today on getting acceleration accents only out of my left hand, especially in those two parts of this groove where my hand uh, goes outwards. For some reason, that's where it has a tendency to push down into the head instead of just doing the acceleration accents. So I think what I'm going to show you is just the 16th note pattern, but I'm going to run it up and down through the tables of time. So I'll do it eighth notes, eighth note triplets, 16th note, 16th note triplets, and watch real close at the top of that tree, the 16th note triplets. That's where my left hand is going to probably fall apart. So uh, that's what's up today. I'm about to show you how it looks. Pressure accents versus acceleration accents. I want to stick with the acceleration accents. Here we go. Man, I really can barely play 16th note triplets at this speed.
Okay, that's going to do it for day 172 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 172 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set, which just means that I want to freak out real good behind the drums. Special thanks, as always, to my video producer, Mr. Silas himself, over at Red 11 Media. Also, shouts out today to Remo Drumheads and Ludwig Drums, because I got to play on my real snare drum. And, of course, AKG Microphones for making it all sound so nice. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me over on Twitter and Instagram at Dirty Bandana, on Reddit at Dirty Bandana Drums, and you can get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project, including a cool merch store where you can buy shirts like this, backbeat, at DirtyBandana.com. That's going to do it for today. We'll see you all next time.